Hey guys, Morgan here, and welcome back to Dying Light 2, episode 131. Where today we're gonna be well doing a lot of stuff. Uh, starting off with Ator. Right, so they just brought Ator in on the door from what that last happened in that tunnel when we first met Waltz. So now, we have to take care of this quest again. And after this, we're gonna have to go visit the Carrier's Guild. Not as deep, but I don't think her brother would decide my husband's fate. Is that why he got a medical degree? To go run into quacks for magic cures? Listen, we don't have medicine. Herbs are our own chance. My husband has fought for you for years. You must get medicine for him, not some herbs that might poison him. <sighs> Time to go, kids. How is he? Ator is strong, but he needs medicine, and that, unfortunately, we don't have. We did the best we could with what we have. After the chemical attack, some plants gained healing properties. They work like an antibiotic. But still, I... Uh, People here have strong opinions about healers, but you can hardly blame them. The folk healers give sound advice, but it can prove difficult to follow correctly. Misremember something, gather the wrong herb, or use the wrong dosage, and instead of medicine, you administer poison, which has happened plenty. What's the deal with herbs? Because if somebody messes up one of the steps of the recipe, it could kill them. Exactly. But it's enough to listen carefully to the healer's instructions and follow them. The herbalist I know, she's talented. She's Ator's only hope. And what's his wife's problem? Superstitions die hard. Margaret has helped many people everywhere. Some just don't want to admit it. Well, then let me go. Think I can help? You'd be doing us a big favor. What happened in Old Villador is terrible. We've lost so many people. As far as I know, Ator is our only witness. So if he dies, we'll find out what happened there. Exactly. Now, where can I find this healer? On COVID Island. Don't worry. You can trust Marker. Right. Well, despite the option that we have, we do have the option to give Aether poison instead of killing him. I have never chosen that option, and I don't think I will. I don't know what will happen if I poison him, but I want to poison him, man. So I'm not going to do that, but... Anyway, like I said, after this, we gotta go over to the Carrier's Guild and do all their thingies. All just because we still need to do the GRE anomalies. And doing these missions will at least avoid the situation of perhaps having to stand still in the place, waiting for time to pass just so it can be nighttime. I know you might be the same, like just sleep. But if I go do that, the volatiles will already have a chance to spawn and crawl their way in to where the GR anomaly is. And with them and the revenants fighting me at once, makes it impossible. We've had an episode where we've tried that before. And the uh, volatiles keep killing me. While I'm trying to focus on the Revenant, and I'm too weak to fight a Volatile at this moment. I don't even have the UV light yet. So... That's what proves to be difficult at the moment. Even with that and flares and everything, I would just get wrecked. I never once, no, I don't think. Have I ever killed a volatile? 
with a proper one-on-one -on -one fight and not like hiding in a corner with like a, a dark hollow Ooh, look where I can go to avoid all these chemicals. Because I know I've killed all of those before, but that is in a dark hollow through the hole that you have to crawl through to get into the dark hollow. So I just keep smacking both those at their feet, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, healer, healer yeah. is over here. Yeah, she's on the other side. Here we are. It's an emergency. Somebody there? Who's there? I have a man in dire need of a healer. She's asleep. Will she be awake soon? It's an emergency. Always an emergency. Like the time that young woman needed a potion to induce labor, and the guy who needed a salve for his hernia, and... What else was there? Please wake her up. A man's life is in danger. It better be. If I find out he just has a hangover, I'll wake her up. But you'll still have to wait. I haven't seen you before. How do you know where to find us? From the peacekeepers. Then you've come to the wrong healer. Get out. Haven't you all made her suffer enough? And now those renegades. They've been a ceasefire for years. They left us alone. And then all of a sudden, they went mad. Where were you when they were taking over the island? For the first time, we really needed you. And what? You didn't come. They're gone. I just took care of them. I don't believe you. You're lying. Just to get what you want. Like all peacekeepers. Do we have a visitor, Gerard? I'll be there in a moment. It's a peacekeeper! What does it matter? Well, what does it matter? Is a peacekeeper's life of less value? Listen, you arrogant little shit. Your people call healers like Margaret witches. People fear healers when they could be helping people. Then one wrong move and you peacekeepers are quick to hang them. So you ask if a peacekeeper's life is worth less? It is to me. Worth less, far as I'm concerned. Well, I'm with them, but I'm not an actual... Well, I'm not a peacekeeper. I want to try to help one. All the same to me. Let him in, Gerard. Uh, I'm just a messenger. A doctor sent me in. His name's Stephen. Doctors shun folk healers these days. Using a folk remedy would harm his reputation. It already has. He sent me to you against the wishes of the man's family. Gerard? Yes? You said there was a man. He saved us from the renegades. Is this the man? What's your name, boy? Aiden. So, you are the one who saved us. We owe you a great debt. And who is the dying man? His name's Aider. He's a high-ranking officer. Margaret, don't. If something goes wrong, you'll be blamed again. But if this goes well, perhaps it's a chance to help more people. Blamed again? Blamed again? What do you mean? The last peacekeeper to ask me for help blamed me for his own incompetence. Gave his wounded soldiers the wrong herb, despite my clear instructions. And several died. Blamed it all on me. I'm only still alive because Jack Matt deigned to be merciful. Decided it was a tragic accident. He spared my life, but took my eyes. Dang. But will you help? Does this mean you'll help me? I'm out of the herbs you need, but I can tell you where to find them. You'll be looking for a flower called the recluse. It thrives in soil soaked in toxic sludge. You will be able to pick it up safely only at night, when its petals glow. 
but it's not enough to simply pick it willy-nilly. Only the small petals have the healing qualities. Beware of the big ones. They contain deadly poison. Can you remember that? Small petals heal, big ones poison. And remember, we'll regret this. I assure you. Small petals heal, big ones poison. Got it. I need your help. Sure you do. What's that? I'm looking for an herb. It's called the recluse. Oh, yeah. I'm familiar with it. I think those funny flowers grow by the canal, north of All Saints Bridge. That's where I look. It's a week. And actually, I wait until night. Oh, thanks. Ciao. Lovely memories of the old um, witch in Dying Light 1. And we had to go into a volatile cave for some mushrooms. Uh, except here it's ten times worse. <laughs> okay, so the canal is over this way, and the part didn't fall off. Thought it was about to fall off. Okay, so they are over there in that area there. <laughs> <sighs> Has to be at night time. Are you serious right now? We're hitting one quest after the other. Be like, please sleep. When I'm trying to not do that, but I don't have a choice. <sighs> Bunk the bed. Okay, so far we've actually been successful at attacking the volatiles while, like, it just turned to night. As in, we're at the GRE anomaly as it becomes night. So, like, like I said earlier, the stupid volatiles crawl into the place that I need to be when. It's night time. Oh crud, I'm dead. Okay, thought I was, thought I was dead, but now I'm in reverse progress. Lovely. Um, is there a winch or something here? No, of course not. Oh, there actually is. Lovely! Awesome. Here's me coming through to go to sleep and go into the horrors of the night to pick some flowers. Uh, now saying that, that was actually a quest in Dying Light 1, wasn't it? Yeah, I remember, we had to go get the glowing ones around like a statue thingy. Yeah, like in a little park. Luckily, the volatiles at that time didn't go there in Dying Light 1. Now I'm sure the vault will be a few inches from the flowers I need. It is just lovely. Let the horrors begin. I hate to say, I hate to say, I hate to say. Oh dear. Uh, where is the stupid flowers? Oh crap, they're right below. And there's a hell they're right there too. There's a howler right there! And I see one of the flowers I need. So it's around the way to a howler's with a volatile not too far from that either. Oh, uh, why? Why? I don't need you! Howler. Howler right there. Flower. Here. Gimme. Oh, there's one right there. There's one right there. But the one I need. <laughs> well, he's howling. And something's coming. Something's coming indeed! The freaking bottle! Ah, climb! Climb! Where's the freaking winch? Ah! Actually, 
That's my chance, but wait, the flowers take a moment to pick up, so I can't exactly do, do that. Flip! Winch, winch, where's the winch? I need the winch. Stop hitting me! There's a winch, but that's not the one I need! Yeah. <laughs> yep. The winch to lead up to the PK base. I wanted just that. Where is it? Did this idea work. I need to go here. I need to blast this. How there's. No, go away. Go away. Scram. Flower, flower, flower. Give me the flowers. Give me the flowers. Flowers. Can I get all the flowers? Do I have them all? I do. Stressful situation this is. Like, for real, where's the winch that goes to the PK base? You gotta be damn well kidding me. Oh, I went that way. I still have the bed marked. It was that way. Lovely. I ran the wrong way. No wonder things went the way that they did. Panic should now be over. I don't know how I grabbed onto something there. I didn't, couldn't even see myself there, but uh, we grabbed onto it. Whatever it was. Right, remember small petals heal, big ones poison. That one is turning from yellow to white for a moment. I don't know why. Small petals heal, big ones poison. Yeah, main objective is turning from white to yellow, which is supposed to stay yellow, but. Anywho. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Panic is over, and unfortunately, along with the plan of doing a GRE anomaly today. Why? Why must all these quests be like, please go to sleep and twist tonight? And I mean, it was early in the day. I would have stood there for like 20 minutes. Okay, not 20 minutes, but still. A long, long time. Doing what? Playing with my fingers? No thank you. Excuse me. Did you not hog the entire bridge? Mr. Big body. 
You can't jump here either. You are blocking the entire bridge. Did you move it? Thank you. Cool. Okay, small bales heal, big ones poison. Ego. How's the patient? He's starting to wake up. Thank you for your help. You can go. Wait, what's going on here? You went to the witch, didn't you? To this Margaret. Yeah, I got it from her. She gave me herbs that might help him. She's not a witch. There's no such thing as witches. That's superstition. Superstition? Witchcraft is a crime. Please, just calm down. What's happening? We're losing him. Hey, give me those herbs. Watch the Phoenix. Keep that witch's poison away from him. I can him. give him an injection to stabilize him, but it won't last long. Did you tell her who the Nixon was for? She killed his men. She should have happened for that, but Jack Mack had Ethel burn her eyes out instead. What? Did you tell her? She'll have given you poison, I guarantee it! Aiden, give me the herbs, damn it! Uh uh, big pearls. Yeah, small ones. How is he? It appears the medicine is as effective as I'd hoped. He needs his rest. We should all leave him be. I, I won't be far. It looks like you had Margaret pegged. She didn't want to poison him after all. Yes. Seems that way. How long will it take for him to recover? Days, weeks. He's strong and otherwise in good health, so days is a likely scenario. As long as he's allowed to rest. I'm sure his family will want to be by his side. I forgot to turn my light on the cutscene. I don't know why it turns it off every time a cutscene happens, because it, some of them are just so dark. Are you alright? Can't talk to her. Anyway, that's the point. Okay, what else would I like to do this for? Um, I don't know. Don't really use bows, even though I have one with me. No, use it. Uh, Joker throwables. Rolling with the fists and the kick kicks. I'm just gonna keep doing the weapons. And get ourselves a new one here in a moment. Nice. Medium infected trophy. Beautiful. Five of them, actually. Nice. Get back. Okay, uh, right. Okay, that's done. And uh, now, if I open the map, what do I see? Any other side quests just popped up out of nowhere? Like, Fo oh, the Foster family. E quest. Well. <sighs> At least this one isn't like, please sleep. And we'll have more chances once we are asked to go over to the Chapel of Resurrection with doing all those quests there. Some Nigeria anomaly with a tackle. 
My plan is to do this one here, because it's the one that's the furthest away, away from everything. And one that's quite difficult because of the terrain it's on. Which means that there's more chances for all volatiles to sneak in mid-fight. That one's waiting for the grappling hook. And I think that's that. Yeah. Yeah, I'll turn out to throw the grappling hook one. Otherwise, I'm not seeing anything else there. Now, there should be nothing in uh, old Villador, right? Right? Except for that, but we've already done the Blood Tide expansion. Already done that in the Survivor playthrough before we went to the PK, so that's done there. Um, yeah. I don't see anything else there, which is cool. Then, off to Foster Family it is. Wait, I didn't check the ship. I didn't zoom in on the ship just to check if it was... No. They're not there yet. Maybe I have to... Do welcome aboard first. Before those ones will appear. The one where I think you'll get all the books. And, oh, flip. That one's gonna really suck now. Oh man, I, I, I will tackle the books once we are done with the Logiric Anomalies. Because some of the books we need to get are in Dark Zones. Lovely! You're running at night screaming in panic! Again! Yay! Ugh. Matt? I walked into a fish thing that cute. I just back on his feet. If it wasn't for you, he'd still be in a cold mode. Oh, I'm glad he's better. Me too. Only he knows what happened in old Philodorm. And soon, thanks to you, I'll know as well. Over and out. Cool. Hi. What's the matter? I'm Hugh, and you're the pilgrim who turned on the electricity, right? Word travels fast. Mm -hmm. And word is you, you help people. Sometimes. Is that why you called me? I, I need help. My kid went off the water tower earlier and hasn't come back. I'm worried. How long has he been gone? Six hours now. That's a long time. We're normally worried. He's such a strong kid. Built like an ox. But it's been such a long time. Hmm. How old's your son? Doesn't matter. I just want my kid back. I would take care of it myself. But there are three young children waiting for me at home. I can't leave them unattended. Okay. I'll take a look for you. It's not safe here. Let's meet in my place after you found him. It's town on Lower Dam Promenade. Okay, a tour and foster family. Let's go. Foster family at the water tower, which. I believe we've already claimed for the PK, meaning we shouldn't have to worry about infected or anything like that. Nice, keep it going. I wonder what the longest flight path has been in Dying Light 1 or 2, I mean. Oh dear. I don't see a way up here anyway. Uh, there's gotta be a way in here, right? Keep going! Crash! Oh crud, I hit his back. I hit his back. He's flying upwards and we're gonna explode somewhere. Oh, he's already exploded. Incoming barrels! Um... There we go, oh, I'm in. Ow, stop spinning at me! I don't want to stand it, guys, it's all over me. I have 
trying to... There we go. Forgot the original way into this place. But we are here and I remember exactly where the kiddo's at. He's in the water tower down at the very bottom. Okay, not very, very bottom. He's right here. Hello. Hey, I'm Aiden. What's your name? Match. I was asked to bring you home. What about the infected up there? There aren't any. It's safe. Then, uh, I'll just hang here. Tilt you, I'll uh, be back later. Look, your father wants you home. He's worried. He ain't my father. I just work for him. Like a slave. I don't want to do that anymore. I don't want to go back. You can't make me. What's Hugh's real story? Never mind. I don't want to get other boys into trouble. No, it's okay. You can tell me. Stay out of it, okay? It's none of your business. Fine. I'll talk to her myself. You really want to stay here? Sure. Not my first time alone in the city. I can take care of myself. <laughs> I bet. Hey, hey. Thanks for clearing out the infected. No problem, kid. Hmm, I should remember what I told Hugh last time, and now what I'm going to try and tell him now. Hmm. Options and choices. Uh, did I go too far up or no? I'm good. Okay. Then. Oh my lord, I'm an idiot. I could have just jumped over this. Oh my. Excuse <laughs> you, floating zombie. No thank you. I'm good. Want you all over me? All that had none since the climbing around and everything. I could have just climbed over the fence I was right against. No, they do that. No. Ugh. Sometimes the simplest things overlooked. What did I tell you last time? I think I told them in like a nice thing of like he's allowed to keep the kids, I'm not sure. Something in that matter. Ooh, ooh, I'm not gonna pass up on this. One moment. Oh, it's just the night runners hideout. Okay. Then I got everything that there is. Awesome. Okay, we is uh, the place. I might be standing right above it. Which I'm not. Sort of. Here we go. What happened? Where's Match? He says he's not coming back. Doesn't want to work for you anymore. What's he mean, Hugh? None of your business! You made it my business when you sent me after Match. Got me there. So what exactly are you doing with these kids, Hugh? Match seemed desperate not to come back. Fine, I'll tell you. I trained them to survive. Come again? I taught them to steal. And spy. For you? For anyone who pays. Are you crazy, Hugh? If the peacekeepers catch them, they'll have no mercy. That's the first thing I teach them. How not to get caught. It's a fucked up world, Pilgrim. No one's gonna go easy on these orphans. I'm living proof of that. I teach them how to survive. Isn't that what fathers do for their children? Ash doesn't understand that. Not, not now. He's got that rebellious hit. When he makes it in the city, he'll realize it's because I prepared him. You're not gonna go after him? Not holding anyone here. We're family. Oh, no options at all. I forgot. Okay, a tour and a foster family is complete. Okay, so... 
Well, with that done, I guess it's back to the ship. All these things are things we've already seen. If I can do as much of that within a single episode as possible, then great. Matt, not forget the renegade for that. Yeah. I can do all, I'll do all the things that we've already seen in one episode. Oh. An episode is about an hour long, or an hour and a half. Getting past all the things, like I said, we've already seen. Oh well, some of the Jerry anomalies would have been over by now, but of course, with the way things are, that is sadly not the case. Oh well, let's then do welcome aboard. Welcome aboard it is then. Let's go introduce ourselves to Matt. And then see what other side quests pop up after doing this, which should be the ones that are in the ship. And if it's the books, like I said, I'm going to be ignoring that one in particular. Or I could do it, just skip the ones that are like... I can only get at night. talk to you yet. I had to talk to Matt first. Before any other side quests and missions will pop up. Let's get this thing out of the way. Hey, hey you, Matt. Don't just stand there. Come here. You know what this is? These brass knuckles belonged first to Commander Lucas. Then, they passed on to Ator. What happened in Old Villador? It can't happen again. We have to save the city, Aiden. From the plague. From the butcher and his men. Whatever they're planning. Okay. But over the radio, you said you have information for me. Yes, but before we get down to that, tell me, Aiden. What do you need this database for? What does it contain? Well, I'm on the big A side this time, so... I'm going to tell him everything. I'm looking for my sister. What happened to her? A long time ago, Waltz hurt her. He took her from me. And I want him to tell me where she is. If she's still alive somewhere. That's why I was looking for the GRE command center. To access Waltz's database on its servers. So we have a common enemy. Meaning? Waltz. That's the Butcher's right-hand man. He pumps his men full of inhibitors. We can get them both. I brought you here because I know that a few GRE scientists are hiding out in the city. We picked up the trail of one of them, right before the renegade attack. Sounds promising. When I find a scientist, we'll see what they know. If they are of no use, we'll find another, and another, until you get the answers you're looking for. Okay, well why did you... Yeah, where are the GRE scientists hiding? Where are the former GRE in hiding? They're afraid of the wrath of the people. People angry because the GRE spread the infection. So it's true. The GRE brought in the virus. Who else? They say they performed experiments in their bases. They brought in containers from Haran. At night. In secret from the government. And then everything collapsed. In revenge? People captured the scientists and hanged them from lampposts. And killed the only people who had a chance of finding a cure. There is no cure and there never will be, Aiden. That's GRE propaganda. Okay, well, what do you want in return? Fine. What do you want in return? What do you think I want? Maybe the same thing both of us want? The city has electricity again. The renegades are on the attack. For the first time since the war ended, they attacked our outposts in the city center. But new possibilities have opened up for us as well. Thanks to the electricity, we can fire up the biggest antenna in the center on the VNC Tower Spire. 
But you were to defeat the Butcher using radio? In a way. The signal will let me reach a larger number of people. Communication between settlements will be improved. We'll enlist more recruits and defend the city. And then it will be easier to find the surviving GRE doctors you need. Okay, but how can I be certain you'll help me? I'll do my part. But what guarantee do I have that you'll help me after? You don't trust me, Aiden. I haven't been here that long, but I can already tell that kept promises are rare in this city. If we don't find any of the GRE scientists, I promise I'll get walls for you. Fine. Okay. I'm in. Good. The butcher attacked for a reason. I want to make sure this city is safe, no matter what. <coughs> All right, sir. Maya will share our plan with you. Go see her as soon as you can. Oh, and Aiden. You don't have to call me sir. To friends. I'm Jack. Okay. Jack. Cool. Okay, off to Maya, which is what I tried to talk right. to just before I came here. Okay. Over this way and down we go. Around and Meyer! Can I help? Matt told me to see you. Yes, he wanted me to give you this. A little reward for helping us peacekeepers. A UV flashlight would come in handy. Thanks. We said something about a plan? The VNC tower. Now that the lights are on, we can use the TV antenna to broadcast our call for mobilization. But first, we need to get to the top. And that's a long road. What do you want to know? Tell me more about this radio station on the tower. It's the tallest building in Villador. It was once a symbol of the city's greatness. Now, a symbol of its fall. Why do you say that? That antenna could bring the city together once more. But anyone who goes up there trying to fire it up, guess what happens? Nothing good, I bet. Damn right. The city's potential shining beacon is a death trap. We're hoping it'll be different this time. We're gonna light it up with UV lamps. Okay, tell me a little bit more about the TV tower. What makes it so dangerous? A volatile nest inside, so we think. It's the biggest dark zone around. Once, night runners tried to take it over. They wanted to use the antenna to connect all the separate groups of survivors, give the people some hope. But they never even got close to the antenna. And in the end, the night runners were wiped out. Tell me more and more what happened that night. But wiped out? You mean every last night runner? That's the problem. Frank had it all carefully planned. But for his plan to have worked, he'd need everyone. All hands on deck. And that didn't happen? Not everyone believed in the plan. So there was a rift. Frank thought they'd come around in time, but not everyone came around after all. The plan went to shit. It was horrifying. Those who heard the Night Runner screams on the radio that night still have nightmares about it. What happened to the group that refused to join the mission? Split up. Drifted apart. Whoever led the descent was branded a traitor. And the night runners faded into a shameful memory after that. We shouldn't waste time on the past. We need our heads in the game, here and now. Alright, well let's set out. Okay, let's get going. Are the lights in place? They would be, if Juan from Supplies would just do his job for once. I take it that he didn't. He's been playing hide-and-seek the last few days, and he's late. Getting on my nerves. So look in on Juan first. See what his deal is. And when you do find him, kick him in the ass. Tell him it's from me. You can go. Okay! Juan Rainer, oh boy. Uh, okay. Down below. Uh, I just want to check the map. Yeah, we got one here available. 
There it is. Book club. That's the one with all the books. Okay, Looking for Juan Rayner. You don't forget to be on a schedule. It's urgent. The commander sent me. So Monsieur Jacques sends you? Jacques? Jacques Matt. Monsieur Rayner is not here. I can take a message. No, I need to talk to him in person. Where is he? Unfortunately, I can't tell. Monsieur Rainer's whereabouts are no one's business. Wait if he must. Anything else? What is one do for fun? No, wait. But you're no fun. What about your boss? What's he do for fun? Monsieur Rainer is well known as a connoisseur of the finest things in life. Food, drink, and pretty much anything that walks on two legs. Is he near any of these so-called finer things right now? Maybe I can drop it on him there. Let's try, but no. I won't say. That's everything. That's not going to be happy. Juan is not particularly concerned with the little major's feelings. Do come again. Okay. In the one? Yes. Getting settled in the city. Working on it. Meyer and Jack sent me the supply. Interesting bunch. Not like any of the other PKs I've met. That might be because they're not PKs, Eagle Eye. Business is their true fate. I see. Uh, anyway, I can't track down their boss. Juan, he likes to make himself scarce. Probably lurking around the fish eye. The canteen? The foot bastards even got his own table there. Bribe the cubs to bring him off menu goods. He lives like the fall never took place. I look for him there. Good luck finding him. Yeah, and good luck if you do find him. Lovely. Let us uh, get acquainted with Book Club here real quick. Hey, you. Yes, you. Come here. I'm here. I'm Albert. And from what I hear, you're Aiden. You have quite the reputation, my boy, for being fearless, for boldly crisscrossing the city at night. As if it were broad daylight. <laughs> you believe all that? At first, I didn't believe. Because a pilgrim's always a guy with some kind of dark past. A bandit, a rebel, an outcast. But from what they say about you... I'm sure whatever you've heard is an exaggeration. Nonsense, my boy. I have something you probably don't come across all that much. Faith. Faith in you. I'd be careful with that. It's no time to be careful, my boy. I believe that your strength, determination, and courage are just what you need to retrieve priceless treasures before they are lost forever. Before mankind is plunged irrevocably into the intellectual and philosophical dark ages. So, your books, then? This isn't about dime store paperbacks, boy. I'm talking about the greatest works of literature ever created through the eons of human existence. The greatest thought pieces, philosophical treatises, works of romance, drama, and horror. All of which serve to illuminate and uplift humanity itself. Losing such a heritage would reduce us to cavemen, with no better way to express ourselves than through savage grunts as we scratch crude figures on walls. <laughs> sure. How can I help? Work with me, please, to find and secure these treasures. I've been researching the local private book collections. If I'm right, many priceless volumes may be found all around the city. Of course, many of the dwellings are now infested by these horrible creatures of the night. That's where you come in. Yeah, take this list. Each title on it corresponds to one of the many facets of humanity. Fail to save them, and the diamond of mankind will dull and shatter like cheap glass. Remember, we are not simply creatures of flesh and blood, but also of mind and ideas. 
I am charging you with the salvation of the very spirit of man. Right. I'm off then. Okay. Book Club One. Get to you eventually. Check whatever this is. You're welcome to pause and read if you wish. Okay, she's not here yet. Okay, I'm first concerned with Juan Rainer, uh, then worrying about the books at the moment. I should perhaps first worry about the. Ah. Every time I'm trying to mention the peacekeepers, in the first moment I want to say their name, ah, oh, peacekeepers, oh my word. The carriers, I forget them. Immediately. And then I was on the second attempt and like, oh yeah, the carriers go. But they'll find one first. Man, how you pronounce that name in English versus how you pronounce it in my uh, supposed to be home language, which I mainly speak English these days. So I don't speak my home language much. But the pronunciation between those two are very, very different. The Juan in English and the Yuhan in Afrikaans. It's so different. Okay, well, I'll stick to the English version. How they pronounce it, I should pronounce it ow the same way. How there? Get! Get! Before you open your mouth. Yeah, great. So what? Uh, I've invited a party of not only renegades, but virals as well. Zombies too. <laughs> well, might as well. <laughs> Crush the skull. Ow. Why are we in my more chaos? No. That didn't work. That'll work now. Me, heal up. Nice. Whoa, whoa, whoa. We got a spitter somewhere. Spitters over here, and there he is. I also have a spitter, that's a viral. Ow! Ow! We got bigger virals now, all around us now. Get back! Down, he's down. I don't think things are quite over just yet, but I'm gonna. <laughs> One that didn't get turned by the gas. Interesting. I got him. Stop locking in. Got him. Cool. Well, that's done. We'll run over to Juan then. Um. Stop falling off and stay still on the thing. I'm trying to jump up to the thing which you're not going to allow now because ugh, I can't even get it up that high. That sucks. There we go. There we go. Okay, finally. 
And over the this way, I don't want to fall down the that area again. <laughs> Okay, to the canteen! <laughs> Mamma mia. All the chaos. I saw you guys see now that we're actually headed right towards the canteen. Almost forgot about the uh, bartender that I wish to talk to because of the. <laughs> Um, Metro that's below the canteen, he's the one that uh, triggers the mission for it, so I'm going to see if I can talk to him and get that done with. And yeah. Made it. Okay, up we go again. Alright, where's the beginning of this? The stairs, okay. Up I ran it this away, this away, right, left. Oh. <laughs> the voices aren't where we're working quite yet, but I'm gonna go talk to the bartender first. If he's got something to say, awesome. If he doesn't, he actually does it because he's got an icon above his head. Well, not above his head. I don't know what you call that, but anyway. Whoa, it's my guardian angel. Guardian angel? If you hadn't helped with the renegades, I'd be out of work right now, or worse. <laughs> That's what that's doing. Hey, don't be modest. I'm the house. I'm Nicholas. Tell me about the canteen. So, how do things work in this place? The fish eye? They work better than anyone predicted when Frank set up shop. Two days and the peacekeepers will take it over or the renegades will blow it up. And nobody blew anything up. It's the safest place around by far. Neutral turf. Even bandits come here just to hash out deals over booze. Anyone can relax without the threat of violence. Rivalries are checked at the door. That's a good place to have. Interesting. You uh, know Frank well? You know Frank well? Not old military butts well, but well enough to know back then he was a big shot. A special forces commando, a night runner, quite the high-ranking mucky muck. Until one mission, he led people into the television tower. Ended in a massacre. After that, he ditched the uniform and started the fisheye. Took out a new lease on life. But he became a haunted man. Frank relives that tower mission, start to bloody finish every day. The booze helps him get through it all. I've seen him on a bender. Drinking like that isn't helping him get through anything. Then imagine what he's like when he's not drinking. Okay, tell me about Luan. Tell me about Luan. Frank says women like her were given call signs based on cocktails. Bloody Mary. Margarita rocks. Luan is hot shit with a hot temper. You do not want to get on her bad side. Cross her once and that's it. Game over. Okay, well, I don't need to go. I gotta go. Wait. You interested in making a bit of money? No, I don't do that. It's a simple job. There's a metro station under the fisheye. Used to be UV lamps in the metro that kept the infected at bay, but they stopped working because every tunnel and station is infested. What happened? What happened? Might be the lamps, but I doubt it. We've replaced them recently. Maybe something cut the cables. But why? It's not like the infected bit through them. They take a lot of fighters to accomplish that. On the other hand, heard a couple stories like that. About infected who work together, somehow coordinated, as if they're smarter than we think. Once, this guy at the bar told me he fell into a trap. He claimed a group of biters herded him into a dead end in a dark zone, intentionally. 
They didn't act like a typical miner swarm. Said he only managed to survive by climbing onto a trash bin to reach a fire escape above the pack. But no, I wouldn't put much faith in that. If that were possible, I think we'd see it more often. Could be a blown fuse. Best bet would be the start of the electrical room. So you want me to turn them on? So you want me to turn on the lamps? Yeah, get to the electrical room. For all we know, could just be a blown fuse. If so, you could just reset the main power supply from there. Before you go, got a little something that'll help you out. A house specialty. Guaranteed to warm those biters' bellies. Just a bit of house food, a bottle and an old rag. The powerful stuff. Or you can always just sneak in past the biters if you don't want to make a ruckus. Once you turn on the UVs, they'll fry anyway. And you won't end up wasting good hooch. Alright, I'll take care of it. I can't take the boat. Give it to me for free. Remember to go there after dark. During the day, it's filled with nasties. Yeah, thanks. Good luck down there. Okay, I can't talk to any of these people yet. Okay, so now that we've got Bad Quest as well, which means then I can do a dedicated episode tackling both the Metros I'm still missing. Well, you still underneath the canteen should have been the only one, but I forgot about the one over and over the door after the power got turned off. Uh, after the update, like I said, in other episodes, these icons, they broke. So, this metro here is saying you can actually fast travel to it, which doesn't even prompt fast travel at all, is the one I need to actually do. Along with the one underneath the canteen. So, the plans are... to basically fast travel over to... Old Villador and get to this Nightwinner hideout uh, night hide over here. Then go to the Metro when we get to that episode. But I'd like to leave all the night switching stuff for after when we're done with these stupid GRE anomalies. But every mission I do is like, please sleep. Please wait till morning. Please this. Please that. What is this? It's there. Ooh, it's there. Okay, awesome. Okay, we have options. Although now that I think about it, our missions are about the same. At night, go and do this. At night, go and do that. That's what I've been waiting for. Which means... Our only hope is the Carrier's Guild. And every time I just can't remember the name. We need to do with the side quest here. We just got to do with them being over over there. And the matter of our next to them. So, as the plan, time is only, it's only 1.47. It's a long way before we can actually get to... to get set up for a GRE anomaly and to actually tackle the thing I've been planning to do so for the past two episodes, but no. Like I said, missions are always like, be sleeping, sleep here, and sleep there, and... Go to go at night and uh. Okay. So back off. I have to get up there, which means I gotta get on top of the truck. Up a truck, up by this thing, and up this. And I'm at the carrier's area. 
Hello? I'm looking for the guild master. Driscoll, I was told. Well, that would be me. And who are you? It's not often I see an unfamiliar face. Not from around here, I gather. No? And I'm looking for work. Sorry, pal, but this is a special organization. You can't just waltz in off the street and get a job here. I'm not waltzing. I don't need that. You think a smart mouth like that's gonna help you get work? Sorry, I'm just new. To everything. I just need to get to know the city, and from what I heard, this seemed to be the best way to do it. And to make an honest wage. If I was a pilgrim, if that helps. A pilgrim, you see? I've heard about your kind. It's hardly a recommendation. <sighs> Look, you said you were a special group. What's so special about the Carrier's Guild? We work for the people, not just for cash on the barrel head. Carriers deliver packages and letters all over the city. I did a lot of that as a pilgrim. It's a valuable service. It's priceless. And not just because of the fees we collect, you merc. Packages and letters are information. Information is the lifeblood of a society. It's also the connective tissue. It brings people together. And it can tear them apart. Yeah, I definitely get that. Yeah, like hell you do. Pilgrims are just pure play. You don't have any higher purpose. But carriers. The carriers are the trusted stewards of this system of information and connection. In our way, we safeguard society, protect and defend information. We keep people connected to one another. I see what you mean. It sounds like a huge responsibility. Damn right it is. Which is why not every Tom, Dick, Harry, or Shady Pilgrim is cut out to be a carrier. Please. Yeah, I just want to help. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, you can just bugger off. Have yourself a wonderful day. Seriously, man? I ain't leaving. Yeah, are you sure you don't need me? Looks like you're running low on carriers. Aye. Right. Things have got more dangerous than usual lately. Maybe I'm trying to do you a favor by not bringing you in at this particular juncture. I'm a pilgrim. I know danger. Outside the walls, danger. Oh, do you know? I tell you what. How about I give you a little test? And we see how that goes. Works for me. Test away. Okay, hotshot. Let's see what you're made of. First, you need to make your way to the top of a building nearby and bring back a package that was left by one of ours. Should be lying somewhere by a tent. Is that all? <laughs> Don't go anywhere. Okay. And let's go retrieve the package, which I can easily get to maybe by doing this. Thought for a moment I wasn't gonna make it. Okay. Oh, this isn't laid out the way I thought it would be laid out. But if I hmm. Oh, this can work. This oh this can work. If I do this. No. Oh, ow! Ah, that goes all plan. At the window. Okay, I'll try that again. What does even mean in backing off and falling off of ledges there all the time? All I gotta do is stay in here a little bit like this. I go up. Ah, these ones are higher up. That's a big pain in the butt. That's a huge pain in the butt right now. Uh, get away! I didn't even mean to do all that, but anyway. Uh, yeah, those ones are way higher up. If I can just get under this one above me, I'm sorry. Fuck off! Oh, I need to heal. I didn't even realize I was not that low health. My goodness. Up we go. Okay, well, we can really just get me to the other side of this building without a problem. And things 
Should be extra fine now that I find this thing here. Excellent. Up we go. Okay, I guess I gotta. Uh, hello. Do something. Thank you. I don't know why it does that. Yes, get me up here. Yes. We're good to go. Every time they've changed that, haven't they? They've changed that. A very tempting of mine. It doesn't want to shimmy on the top one. I used to be able to just back off to the edge and just jump up and grab the thing. Oh, because that one is sealed off, that's why. But not on this side though, but why? Ah, uh, probably a way easier way to have done this, aside from my usual way, which is even easier. But it's not working right now for some reason. Stand here on the edge, and there we go, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. You work your way up. All the way up. Instead of going the long way around. <coughs> okay, which building, where is it? All the way over there. Well, if I'd only gone to that building and looked down and realized there might have actually been a winch there. No, no, that's a tree, not a winch. Uh, big difference. Uh, okay. We are down top now! Ah! Get away from me! Ow. That is very, very inconvenient. Landing right on top of an electrical zombie! <laughs> Just to get electrocuted. I could open the paraglider, but no. Well, the Driscoll is chilling in I know, I mean, oh, all this clumsy climbing I'm doing right now. Uh, which, where is the package now? I kind of disappeared on me and I can't find it. Love this new update. Oh. Yeah, can't find it. Spawned right on the tank where the thing is. Lovely. Got it. That was easy. That was quick. Not bad. That was a test. I barely broke the sweat. Hey, don't get cocky, hotshot. That's just a primer. As you guess, delivering messages will take you through areas swarming with infected. And sometimes, at night. For this test, you'll need to pick up five letters that were dropped in a dark zone when the previous carrier was being chased by the infected. You'll need real skills just to survive, let alone succeed. Piece of cake for a pilgrim, though, right? <laughs> yeah, this sounds more my speed. I'll see you soon. Okay, yeah. down here. What's the time? 15:51. Yeah, we still got quite a way to go. Well, first. Of <laughs> Very OP weapon of ours. <laughs> this weapon, my weapon, is just way OP, and it's the weakest thing I have. Oh man. Anyway, what's in here? Ah, you're all writing. And fire and the zombie coming after me. But anyway, here's letter number. Number one, there we go. Letter number two. 
Cigarettes in a blade bracelet and some scraps. Letter number three. And uh, letter number four. And uh, number five is. Um, ah. Number five. Cool! Consider it done. <laughs> Okay, back to Driscoll. The carrier's mission is gonna be the easiest one to do. It's just like, don't require you to sleep as far as I remember. Can I make it? Can I make it? Made it. Oh, don't fall off. Made it. Not bad, hot shot. Not bad. That hardly qualified as a test. Ha! This last one, mate. You come face to face with customers. This is what the job is about. Connecting people through the letters they send and receive. Reconnecting our fractured society, so to speak. This is where you prove your true worth. I can handle it. Believe it or not, I'm sort of a people person. Oh, you could have fooled me. But I have to admit, you're not a fragile type. I'm starting to see some potential. Pull this off, and I might consider letting you take the carriers off after all. I just better not get any complaints from the clients. You won't. I promise. Okay, yeah, let's finish this. You know what, do I have multiple buddy with to deliver to? I do. Okay. 17.30 about. No, not 16.30. <laughs> me am I getting my numbers wrong? Okay, so there's this person here we gotta deliver to. And climb up all the things I don't want to climb up, up on. And, um... That person's 300 meters away, 500 meters away. Anyone behind me I gotta do? Or is the mission right above me? What is it? What is this? Oh, this is hooked on the thrill. Alright, that guy's 300 meters away, and we gotta get some more height of launch off. Oh, 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 this is perfect. This is beyond perfect. Okay, and we're off. Can I hit that booster? No. That's yeah, fine. That guy's 500 meters away. This one's 300. Okay, he's right around here. If I can use the, uh, do the same tactic as I did before, thank you. Okay. Up and up. Which means, basically, if we finish this here and now, then possibly at the beginning of the next episode we will be able to do a GRE anomaly, which is awesome. Letter, letter delivery is below me. Uh, oh. The canteen. <coughs> um, and then, uh, where is the person that wants the mail? Uh, above me. Carrier here. Here's a message. Thank you. Well, it's about time. Um, pardon? It's from my boyfriend. He's finally leaving his wife. Oh, congratulations. My wife and I separated months ago. She was very understanding. 
I'm just glad Len finally got the courage to be honest to his wife. Now, we can get on with our lives. Okay, message one delivered. Uh, message number two is over in that direction. Uh, Launch and we're good. Okay, awesome. Okay, 17, 17. Gotta worry about 1930, so. Best thing I should do is perhaps deliver this message and go over to the metro that I need to be at. And then end the episode there. Uh, oh, uh, right here by the Mississippi. Unless I'm mistaken, I'm still on, yeah, I'm still on carriers. We go this way round. And someone down below needs a letter. I can't jump down. Letter, letter, the person down in supplies, letter over to this way, to down here, to up over here, to person number one, which is right, nope, right round over here, kid! Hello, I'm from the Carrier's Guild. I have a letter for Barry. Mom? Mommy? It's a letter from Dad! Careful! Don't tear the letter when you open it. I won't, Mom. I swear. Bless you, Carrier. You made my son's day. For you? Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I brought the letter as soon as it was given to me. I'm not upset with you. It's my son. Weeks without hearing from him. Thought he was dead. No concern for his father. Well, I'm thankful for you, Carrier. At least now I know my idiot son is still alive. Hey, Driscoll. Job done. All packages delivered safely. Oh yeah, that's true what he said. We can always just catch a metro and get here real quick. Done. It's 18, it's 18. Um... Okay, we gotta make this fast. Wrong way! I'm so glad they allowed us to run in this place now. I don't know when the game first launched this whole way up until halfway up the escalator. Like, you were only forced to walk. You couldn't run. I don't know why it was a thing, but I'm glad it's not anymore. Oh, come on! Don't have time to waste! Good work, Hotshot. What did you think? All sorts of letters and recipients out there. It's the network, like I said. 
You just helped him spend it. Looks like you're carrying material after all. Are you ready and willing to take the oath? Uh, really? Uh, the pilgrims aren't that formal. Uh... Maybe that's part of your problem, Hotshot. If you want this, then you'll repeat after me. Fine. Let's do this. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. I, initiate of the Carrier's Guild. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. Swear to serve all the citizens of the city equally. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. To face any dangers and safely deliver all mail entrusted to me. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. I will do so with the utmost honor and integrity in accordance with the standards of the Carrier's Guild. By the power granted me by the Carrier's Guild, I hereby proclaim you a full member. Initiate rank. Welcome to the fold, Hotshot. Let me know when you're ready to start. I will come back to you. Next time you have a trading option, what do you have? Uh, nothing important. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go over to, 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 to this metro all the way. Really? Oh, for crying. Oh, look. It's a baby carrier. So much for this being an elite group. Pilgrim? Fuck that shit. Well, what's your problem? You better not become my problem. For all we know, you could be the next Derek waiting to happen. The next who? What the hell are you talking about? Never you mind, baby carrier. Just keep your nose clean around here. And I'll be watching you. Oh, great. You can watch me flip you the bird. Oh, great. Baby Carrier's a comedian, too. This place is going to shit. Coming from you, I guess I'm just upholding your legacy. Woo! Fire! That's just Jack. Ignore him, compañero. It doesn't look like he's gonna let me ignore him. Tranquilo. His bark is worse than his, uh, chew? Is that the word? No. Me llamo Jaime, by the way. Being a carrier is dangerous. We're a small group, and we rely on each other. So, you're a pilgrim. Good. You've seen and done things. Sometimes, those novatos get people killed. Hey, did this Derek get someone killed? Luckily, no. Derek was just plain loco, an adrenaline junkie. We all take this seriously, but he was obsessed. In a way, you had to admire his dedication, even if he was fanatical. And so what happened? Left the other carriers with tough deliveries in the lurch. What became of him? Booted out on his ass. No room for a Scarface and the carriers killed Amigo. Recipe for death and disaster. Let me guess. Jack led the campaign against Derek. And he was very effective, Amigo. I'm sure he was. Okay. I would like the fast travel now, please. I need to get over here desperately. Well, one long episode in bay. We got a lot done too. Which is awesome. A lot of stuff we've already done. I mean, from ATAR to Foster Family to. Uh, I'll have to rewatch the video to see what else we did. Because I can't always remember or keep track of what we did, which means the title of my channel might change because I always have to remember what the stuff is we did before I upload the video. But, anyways, that will then do for today. Excellent, and then we start off our next episode by going immediately to this GR anomaly and tackling that one then in the next episode. Man, we did a lot today. 
I'm not as good. And this carrier's guild missions are gonna only help us let the, the daytime pass while we're actually doing something. So we can go after these GR anomalies, which how many do we have left of these things anyway? Uh, let's see, activities. As far as I know, it's two, and I can only see two. Which is awesome! Oh, no, no. No, wait, wait, wait. These are the centers. Yeah, experimental research and all those things. Yeah, no, 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 no. We only have to do these ones here, so there's four left. Four of them. If there's four left, then anyway, does time pass while I'm in the map? It's still 1827 and it seems like it pauses while I'm here. Which is a good thing. We got this one here, and there's one over here somewhere. Oh, over here. Which is awesome. It's got those two there. Then we have. Where are the other ones at? That one there has been done, even though the icon's supposed to be there, but it's gone. Um. Blind as usual, can't see the other ones of the two that we still have to do. Oh, wait, see one right here as well. And where's the fourth? Where is the fourth one that we have to do? Okay, there's one here, the second one there, third one over there. Fourth one that I miss one here, which can be funny if I did. Which I doubt honestly, because I'm sure I took care of all these ones here in Old Mador. I'm pretty sure I'm done with Old Mador, except for the metro that I missed. Wait, they, they say where they are, don't they? Okay, because along with that, then... They say where they're at? Nope, just the names change and all that stuff. And even if I press the tracker or whatever, it doesn't show me where it's at anyway. Which still sucks. I'm going to have to go on a hunting mission and figure out where the fourth one is sitting at the moment. Because I am Kalunis. There's still some unknown locations out here which sucks. And I thought I took care of all of them. That can't be it. Is it? That might actually be it. I will have to go and check up on that at a later date. But wait, no. Never mind. I thought for a moment I th that was supposed to be the Nightrunner's hideout, which we can actually fast travel to. What? Okay. That's interesting. Now, my, 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 my might be the only night runner's head that we can actually fast travel to. That's kind of nuts, but anyway, I'm sure that one could be there. If it's not the Jerry anomaly there, then I don't know. But regardless, we're going to be hopping on over to this one here, then in the beginning of the next episode. Well, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, share it if you really liked it, comment, subscribe if you wish. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.